material. Hey, go what's going on? It's Kurt. Burtis. Kurt and Bert, Bert and Krat. Burtis, Burtis and Krat. Krat and Burtis. Krat. <laughs> Kratan. Kratan, my man. And Kratan Burtis. Kratan and Kratan and Burtis. The. I got nothing to um, so this is what did I number them? This is I think this is the third. No, this is the fourth guys cast. That's what we're calling it. Guys, this is the guys, guys cast. cast. But girls, you can also listen in. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we all we, we were open. Yeah. So today it's just <laughs> Bernus and Krat. It's just Kurt and Brat today. Um, but we have a pretty serious topic today. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about it, but. Logan Paul posted this vlog. So Logan Paul does his daily vlog, and then uh, I can't. Was it on a what day was it? I think it was a couple days ago. So on. What about on a Monday? The month You think it was the Monday? Yeah. So on the first. Oh yeah, I think he posted like right on New Year's. Yeah, because it was it was that New Year's Eve. It's the last day in Japan. Blah blah blah. Or last day of the year in yeah. Japan. Blah blah blah. So it was on the first. Um. And in his vlog, he went to the suicide forest to a suicide forest in Japan. And uh, in the video, it's like, I watch the video and it's pretty standard, like, vlog stuff up until the point where he goes into the forest and then he finds a dead body and then he just keeps filming it. And then they play, like, sad music throughout, kind of, like, intermittently. And then they even drop, like, a like a helpline thing at the end. But for the most part, I think it was handled pretty, very poorly, to be honest with you. And I mean... You can see that if you go if you guys go on Twitter and just type the hashtag in or whatever Logan Paul and look up all the news on it, it's it's getting super negative feedback or it's a super negative reaction to it. So just just before you continue on, so just just uh, like for the people that don't know what it is, uh, right underneath Mount Fuji, there's this forest, and it's not it's it's its name isn't actually suicide forest. I think it's just like that's just a, a, a title that it's given. Because people go there uh, to uh, kill themselves, and it's not like on the main trail. You have to go off trail. You have to be looking for it. Like Logan Paul wasn't just like you know, like he was he like he specifically went off trail. And in the video, you see the off the police officers, and they come up and they're like, like it's illegal to go off trail and all that. And he's like, well, like his response is literally, well, too late for that, bud. Like I've already seen like. I can't unsee what I just saw. And it's like, he had the intent to find something. And uh, me and Kurt were talking about this before. There's other people that have gone and vlogged in the forest. And they specifically give a disclaimer how they will either cut the footage if they do find anything. Or they will, you know, not record out of respect to the, the soul that, like, you know, took his own life or her life. But Logan Paul goes... And he literally sees the person and they have a group discussion. It, it fucking blows my mind because there's four of them. And there's like, a, there's like a group discussion and then they all unanimously go like, yeah, bring the camera, let's go. And they fucking get just right up, just right fucking in there. Like, it's like standing beside the guy. So, I mean, also like, he, he does like... I'm not defending him or anything, but he does give a disclaimer at the beginning where he's like, you know, this is some real shit and I, I didn't know how to react and blah, blah, blah. Um, and right now, as of now, um, he said he's going to take a break from vlogging and he's apologized multiple times, once through Twitter, which obviously didn't go very well because um, it was it's just a poorly handled or poorly written uh, apology. Well, and then he also made a video now after that. Yeah that was a lot more heartfelty or whatever but as of now it seems like there's just a lot of outrage and he's going to be taking a break i guess but we'll get into that a little later um but you're like the disclaimer that kurt's talking about at the start i don't know i don't know what it is about logan paul or if he's like <laughs> like if he's i don't know what it is but he always has to talk about himself so even in the disclaimer he's like hey like this is the realest shit ever but you know low gang we we, we set records we like you know, make history on YouTube, and I'm like, man, what? Like, it, yeah. it, I'm just, and then in the apology, he literally threw up a peace emoji and said, I'm not doing this for the views, I get views. Right. And I they mean, wrote, hashtag he, low gang for life, and I'm like, man, what the fuck? I don't Yeah. Um, I mean, 
part of this is is like I was talking to Brad about this is that within the context of of Logan Paul and his vlog it's like if you're just if you have no sympathy and no empathy and you're just watching the vlog it's kind of like oh what an interesting experience for Logan Paul like wow this is so interesting for his life that he did th that this happened in his life and whatever but anything outside of that you have to realize that first of all Logan Paul has like a massive following right like something like how many 15 million something yeah and like before well okay th there's that first he has a huge following and a lot of them are young like children children like teens or whatever um and then second of all like there's just so many things right i mean like the body itself like this to me is almost the equivalent of like let's say someone was on their deathbed and somebody ran in there with a camera while the family's there and everything or whatever it doesn't matter like you run in the hospital with a camera on people like and then you just fucking i'm vlogging look at this vlog look at what an interesting experience this is to be in a hospital where people are fucking dying it's similar to that in my head because this is a dead body the guy literally killed himself that morning and then logan paul went into the forest with his with his camera and then he found it and instead of handling it like in a mature appropriate manner in most people's opinions he handled that way of course at the time i'm sure he didn't really think so much about it and i mean that's that's most of where the like the fault is or where the how bad this is is because he wasn't thinking about that i mean it was all for his vlog in a lot of ways and i mean people always think like and i get i get that i kind of get that side where it's like oh he he wasn't thinking about it and all that stuff and like but I mean, there's a bunch of things, right? Like when you're, first of all, when you're editing the video, it's kind of like, even even if you didn't feel it at the time when you're editing the video, you should make some conscious decisions. Like, okay, fuck. Like there's a fucking dead guy. He, it's like so fresh and like, you, I don't know, you're gonna put that in a video and cut it in with the, with your jokes and your vlog. It just, it just doesn't seem like appropriate and mature at all. The, um, the thing that fucked me up was that thumbnail with the dead body hanging Yeah, I mean, the that's tree. the worst part, right? Is he says he's not, this isn't clickbait or whatever. And I mean, maybe to clickbait, he means like, oh, I'm not lying about what's in the video. But I mean, like to have a picture of you standing in front of a dead body that's literally like feet, like a couple feet away from you is pretty like clickbaity in my opinion. As a thumbnail, right? yeah, I mean, just like, blurring out the guy. And it's like, I found a dead guy. And it's like, what the fuck? Um, and I mean, going back to his fan base, um, I just think it's it's obviously like kind of immoral I guess or like just not I don't know just just shitty because it's like if you, if you have like a kid growing up who watches his stuff I mean you think about how they kind of look to him I mean subconsciously or consciously they look to him to like see how he reacts throughout his life right like how does he deal with certain things like this like something serious like this and if he reacts that way in such an immature kind of like disrespectful and also like just lack of empathy or sympathy it's just not very good for young people to like take that as an example of how to act and I mean I told Brad this that like I have an example of when I was a kid I was like a really I was like seven and my dad would always come home and then he'd look like stressed out or tired or something and then I would be like um, oh like did you get fired or something because at the time I didn't know what that I didn't really know what that meant and then one day he just like sat me down and was just like, hey Curtis, like you can't, like don't say that ever again to anybody. Like don't ask them that ever. And that kind of like woke me up or like, not woke me up, but like it taught me that that's not something that you do, right? Like you don't ask, that's, that's an inappropriate question to ask, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, this is pretty much the opposite of that, right? When something like this happens and so how many, I think it was like, there was like 500,000, like 600,000 likes or whatever, which means at least that many people saw it before he took it down. So I forgot to mention that um, he took it down within 24 hours of posting it because there was such a negative reaction to it. Um, but I mean, it's already like a huge, like you could say like uh, the damage already been done, right? If 500 to 600,000 people already watched it. Um, but I mean, when you have a daily vlog like this, you have to, you have to have a certain, first of all, you have to realize what you're doing and what it is, right? So vlogs in general, the culture of vlogs is usually entertainment, right? So when something like this happens, I, I would say it's not really the place for it, right? Unless you can also, I mean, there's ways to vlog serious things. There's definitely ways to vlog yeah, serious sure. things, right? But I mean, again, like I could take that cheap, cheap shot in which I agree with to stand next to a body and make a joke about it isn't probably the best way to do it. 
to be fair, when I saw that scene, if you cut out just the two scenes of like him standing next to the body and make a joke, it looks really bad. I'll admit, yeah. it looks really bad. I, but at the same time, I know that when I watched it, he was, um, in shock. Uh, so he was in shock, right? So like, that's the thing. Like, uh, uh, like that's the one thing I don't like uh, is all these all these publications and Snapchat and all this. Like, they're shitting on him for cracking the jokes and like whatever. Like that, I can't be upset at because I know that if I was to ever see a body, people don't know how to. Uh, like, it just it fucks with your brain. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like, very difficult to like make sense of right away. Exactly. So. And people are all very different. Some people might yeah. like you know might have uh, might be able to whatever. Because you can tell he's in shock. Like he's he's not he's not consciously like I don't give a fuck. No, no, no. It's yeah. like his brain is messed up and he he's responding in a weird way. But like everybody responds in weird ways. Yeah. Right? So like so like when when tragedy or like heartbreak happens, a lot of people crack jokes and whatever. So that I'm not gonna dig on him for because like that's that's whatever. That's just like you know you see a dead body hanging it was just his reaction at the time and you can see that in the new video that he posted where he apologizes he obviously it's a completely different we'll get no, no, to I know, that I know, I know. we'll, get, we'll, to we'll that. get into that in a second but I'm saying is like mm -hmm. you can tell that he obviously mm -hmm. is thinking clearly or whatever well he, I think also well I mean we could get into it now a little bit is that um that I don't part? know like so <sighs> There's a bunch of things, right? First of all, Logan Paul, like we'll get into it right now, I guess. Logan Paul's is a, how many, like whatever, how many, he has a bunch of, like a lot of subscribers, a lot of likes, a lot of views. And he's also like a main, I think he's a main character on two of YouTube Red's shows. Um, he's had his account for a while now too. So I mean like Logan Paul, basically what I'm trying to say is Logan Paul is, is a big YouTube player. He's, he's basically an in-house YouTube star, right? And even, so there's, this YouTube, uh, what is it, flag program? Basically, it's like users can become um, trusted flaggers. That's what they're called, trusted flaggers, to flag inappropriate content. So it was flagged, obviously, and according to this trusted flagger, which I don't doubt it was flagged, and according to this trusted flagger, uh, Ben on Twitter, um, it was reviewed in house, like manually, by whatever, like the YouTube team. And then it was just okay to go out, right? So, I mean, there's Logan Paul, which, I mean, like, with within the first, like, 20 seconds, I can already tell Logan Paul's kind of a dumbass, in my opinion. He's just kind of stupid. Um, but, I mean, for the YouTube team to okay it, I mean, that says a lot about, like, what YouTube is and how they are um, when it comes to, like, prioritizing content and what, th what their values are. Now, as of, like, whatever, after he took it down and whatever, YouTube is saying, oh, he violated our policies in terms of showing graphic content without documentary or educational type support for it. But you could argue very, it, it's make, it's hard to like justify that when Logan Paul's so close with YouTube that you didn't see it and then you just decided that now he violated your policies. But I think that's more of a reaction to what people are saying. Because mm -hmm. right? you hit the trending page, no? Uh, of, yeah. of course, and that it was the number one thing, right? And and that's it's interesting because that that means that YouTube, and we've see, we already see the trend though too, right? Is that YouTube values like sensationalism and like just the like the types of content that YouTube values is is not like it's like the weird. It's kind of like that that story about the um, the girl who shot her boyfriend accidentally through the Guinness book, whatever, book because yeah. that's the type of content that YouTube favors because that's the type of stuff that will float to the top, right? And that's that's interesting when it comes to this, when if if this is true, if the trusted flagger story is true, that YouTube reviewed the video and said, okay, because they knew probably that this was gonna get a lot of attention, mm -hmm. right? Um, I just think that's that's an interesting thing. And, and it's good to have this discussion outside of Logan Paul in terms of, yeah, like what does YouTube value in terms of what kind of content it puts up and and now i think youtube is going to be a lot more transparent about it i mean until like you know more like bigger powers like the government or whatever get involved and start to be like okay youtube you can't be you can't be posting this kind of shit like you can't you can't allow this kind of stuff right um but see like that i wouldn't want either like i wouldn't want yeah i know like that's that's kind of a like, yeah like it's kind of an interesting like line i guess because it's like YouTube is it's like the internet right it's the same thing it's like you want it to be open and whatever but I mean at the same time like 
I guess it's it's rough because it's like I, I just go back to like how he has so much of an audience and it's like I don't know with that much res- it's almost like that responsibility the thing great power comes great responsibility yeah yeah that that good old res- great power responsibility what was that from uh, super Batman super green I think, green Batman <laughs> super yeah um but I mean, Super green aquabat, that's it's hard because because YouTube isn't television, but it's becoming very close to it, right? Where television is filtered, and YouTube isn't. Well, now it is, but I mean, the internet in general, YouTube in general, isn't as filtered as television because it can't be because there's just anybody can upload. Um, but I mean, I think it's it's more important when Logan Paul is such a big player, like such an in-house. And, it, and, the, and the other thing is, like, the video was flagged, right? Like, the video was flagged mm-hmm. by Trusted Flaggers, and in theory, YouTube reviewed it and said it was okay. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a difference between me uploading, like, a stupid video, like we talked about this, between me or Krat uploading a video, and Logan Paul, who has this many viewers and this many subs, and he has a, he has a YouTube series, and, like, he's Couple just... A couple of movies on YouTube, Krat. Right? Yeah, like, he's got such a big following that... It matters when you do stuff like this. Yeah. Right? That's the thing. Like, it, in this situation, it was more important for YouTube to make dollars than it was to make sense. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was reading, like, the BuzzFeed article, and they're saying that... Um, I mean, this is what, the, what sparked that discussion about what YouTube um, potentially values in terms of, like, content. Because it's like, they're like, oh, well, why didn't the algorithm or whatever? But it's like, the algorithm can't tell you what's morally right or wrong because that's that's a human thing right like that's the way he handled that like no algorithm could could judge whether that was a good or bad way to handle it right that's a morality thing and a lot of people i think more than you might think might have judged logan paul's video different like all those kids right too like might have judged it not the same way they might have like oh well that's just logan paul's life and he's just showing his life despite how disrespectful and inappropriate that Mm -hmm. that might have been been or whatever right um, and they're just saying how like in like a really good algorithm uh, for like stuff like YouTube and all that stuff will obviously try to target those who won't be offended, right? And it would like avoid people that would be offended, right? So I mean like with Logan Paul, I mean it it's scary because you think about like all the kids and all that stuff that it might have targeted because they would be okay with it, right? Or like they just like his content or whatever. But, I mean, again, this is good to talk about this because, again, YouTube, hopefully, as it says it will, will be more transparent about its policies and how uh, content is filtered, I guess. Because it, it's all, like, everybody has somewhat of an idea, I guess, but there hasn't been a very clear, like, this is what this is what and why, how things are, like, filtered on YouTube. You know, like, what comes, like, whatever. Like, what's more, like, likely to get to the front page or not or whatever. Um, but yeah, um, it was it's crazy because people there's like articles on like BuzzFeed and like uh, other websites where it's like no matter what happens, uh, like Logan Paul's audience, his core audience, like doesn't care and he's only gonna get bigger. And, it's true, and and it's true. It's because the video is up for you know a few hours or whatnot, and in that time it crude like you know a million to a couple of million views and i mean like now his apology like ironically like his apology and all this buzz is like getting more attention than i didn't know about logan paul i didn't give a, i didn't really care about logan paul or whatever yeah. but now there's more attention on him than ever right so ironically his apology video i watch his apology yeah, video, I did too. is probably getting more views than his average vlog anyway yeah Right, so I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, this this is like a black mirror type of thing, where it's like, it was this like a play at like more attention in general, you know? Like, and then they prepared for this, where like YouTube was gonna be like, oh, he violated our policies, and Logan Paul planned to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take a step back from YouTube. But funny. in the end, when he makes his first video coming back, then it's gonna be huge because Logan Paul's been out for a while. You, who knows? I don't know. I, I don't think if, it's... if that was the fucking case, you know, this is like that's black fuck, mirror, right? No, Some like that's like shit. that's a marketing net like next yeah. level marketing shit um but the thing that i was gonna say was um, uh, oh um i don't i i don't know i, I was watching his um apology video and i swear i was trying to feel like like empathetic towards like it didn't feel genuine it felt like 
yo, I fucked up and now there's like millions on the line, so I have to make this one and a half minute video. And I like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I got, well, I, I guess, I guess for me, it's not so much about how genuine that specific video felt. I just think in the context of literally everything, like YouTube, clear, like there obviously YouTube and him have been talking about this. Yeah. Like they YouTube went over to his house or whatever and was like, okay, Logan, this is what we're doing. Right? Because he's an in-house player, right? Like he, he like there's no way YouTube has not talked to Logan Paul about this. Yeah. And that was purely like just out of Logan Paul. I'm sure he planned to whatever, sure he could have, whatever, but him and YouTube are obviously like had a plan going into this after all this negative reaction. Um, but I mean I think like YouTube's policies say something like when something like this happens if you have three strikes within three months then your channel will be like shut down or like suspended or something like that and YouTube has yet to say whether they're doing anything with his his account or not but I mean Logan Paul's already said he's stepping away from YouTube for a little bit or stepping away from vlogging yeah. for a while so um, I was gonna say like a lot of people on, on Twitter and stuff are asking for his head and asking for him to like, you know, uh, stop making vlogs and not be allowed to make videos anymore and stuff like that. And I don't think that's the right answer either. I don't think just because somebody makes a mistake, no matter how big the fuck up is, that you should like just silence their voice. I think that like, you know, like he should be reprimanded or whatever, or not even reprimanded, like he maybe like, not have his videos monetized anymore, but if he wants to make vlogs, let him make vlogs. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like he, He's obviously an energetic guy and like he obviously fucked up and whatever, but it's like at the same time if you if if that sets the precedent, like if you fucking ever cross the line. Yeah. Well no, it should it should be like a learning thing. Yeah. For him, right? Although the damage is done, right? Which is shitty and, and like there's not much coming back from that. But for him as like a like his job and whatever and like this is his life yeah to take away his livelihood stuff, like, and job and stuff yeah i mean it's sh i think it should be yeah more of like a learning it's kind of like you know if you dr if you have a drunk driving thing it's like you get penalized yeah. but like you can't it's not that you don't drive forever it's yeah. just you get penalized and then if you have consecutive strikes or whatever yeah, right? yeah but again that's why the discussion i think is more fruitful if we start talking about youtube as a organization and how they handle these types of things um because logan paul like i said within the first like 30 seconds, I can already tell, like, okay, this guy's kind of, he's not, he's kind of an idiot, in my opinion, no offense, right, to all you Logan lovers. Low gang. Uh, low, low gang, ooh -hoo. <laughs> But, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, that was, that was most of what I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I guess, uh, hope you guys join us on the next Guys Cast. Okay. Hopefully there'll be more than just Burtis and Krat on the, on the next one, but, yeah, you know. Um, if not, then I'll fucking see you next time with Krat, fucking just me and Krat down to just, do it. Just Krat and Burtis, <laughs> kicking it old school.